Welcome to Griffin's Gaming Guide. In this video, we're going after another The Last of Us Part 1 trophy, Getting to Know You, where you need to engage in all optional conversations. Now, in total, there are 60 optional conversations as you progress through both the main game and the Left Behind DLC, which can be accessed from the main menu. However, only 54 optional conversations are required for the trophy, making this a potentially confusing mess to sift through. Some of the conversations will be part of the story and they'll be mandatory, although they are still counted as optional for the purposes of this trophy. And there are some conversations which have a few requirements you need to meet before the conversation will become available. In this guide, we're going to help you find all 60 optional conversations. There's 45 in the main game, then an additional 15 in the Left Behind DLC, of which only 9 are actually required for the trophy. However, I'll be completely honest with you, I'm not 100% sure on what 9 they are, so we've listed all 15 to avoid any confusion. Obviously, that'll be much later on once we've got through the main game. Now, in order to initiate an optional conversation, you simply need to get up to an NPC and then press triangle when prompted to engage them in the optional conversation, with some of them, like I say, having a few kind of stricter requirements that you're going to need to follow, but obviously we will cover everything as we make our way through the video. So for optional conversation number one, you need to be in the chapter The Quarantine Zone 20 Years Later. Follow Tess around to the right, past the barriers with the armed police, then rather than following the street around to the left, go over to the right as the male is walking across to speak to the lady by the bus stop. Press triangle when prompted to engage in the optional conversation. Now, apart from the one on screen, and um, a couple of others as we make our way through that are required to unlock other optional conversations, I'm only going to show you where they are, otherwise this video is going to end up being about three hours long, and who's got time for that? If you want to listen to all of the optional conversations, then feel free, grab yourself a copy of the game, and play through, listen to them on your own time. So optional conversation number two can be found in the chapter Quarantine Zone Beyond the Wall. After mantling up through the diner floor, stick close to Tess as when she leaves you will have a couple of seconds to initiate the optional conversation. If you do miss the prompt then quickly restart the checkpoint or replay the chapter trying to be a little bit quicker next time. Got it. Be careful. What am I not? <laughs> that a trick question? Ain't been out here in a while. It's like we're on a date. Optional conversation number three can be found in the chapter The Quarantine Zone Beyond the Wall. After Joel has his mask on due to the spores, go through the crawl space looking to your right as you turn to go right to see a corpse. Get close to the corpse to reveal the conversation prompt. Spores. Where the hell are all these coming from? The place was clear last time. Coming out of something. Stay alert. There's our culprit. Not that Optional conversation number four could be found in the chapter The Quarantine Zone, The Cargo. Go through the building with Tess and Marlene to the outside area and then take all of the humans out, then take the first right before going down the stairs along the walkway to find three bodies on the floor. Wait around for a few seconds where Marlene will come up and you can activate the optional conversation. Optional conversation number five can be found in the chapter The Outskirts Outside. Proceed through the chapter to the cutscene where Joel falls asleep on the sofa, then when he wakes up, Tess walks in. Follow Tess into the small room where you need to speak to her in order for her to move the bookcase out of the way. So whilst this one isn't optional, it does still count as an optional conversation for the purposes of the trophy. I think it's a bit strange that they're having us do their smuggling. 
Optional conversation number six can be found in the chapter The Outskirts Downtown. As you go up the ramp and around into the building with Tess and Ellie, go through the second doorway to get into the building where you will find a corpse on some faded yellow carpet. Look at the corpse to get the conversation prompt once Tess has caught you up. Over here. Hey, Tess. Coming. Uh, it's been ripped apart. Optional conversation number seven can be found in the chapter of the Outskirts Museum. Take out all of the infected in the museum, then once Tess and Ellie walk over to the window, go to the left window to get the conversation prompt with Tess. Optional conversation number eight can again be found in the chapter of the Outskirts Museum. Immediately after you're done talking with Tess for optional conversation seven, look to Tess's right where you will see Ellie standing against the wall. Go to Ellie, then activate the conversation prompt when it appears. What about you, Kate? Optional conversation number nine can be found in the chapter Billstown, The Woods. After Joel has boosted Ellie over the gate so she can remove the pipe blocking the gate, go straight forward into the house with the blue awning, up the stairs, then take a right to find a The Turn-In arcade machine. Stand by the machine where you will, after a short while, get a prompt to trigger the conversation. Then what? Well, then we go find Tommy. Marlene said he's your brother? And more importantly, he was a firefly. He know where to take you. Okay. He lives far from here, which is why we need the car. Oh, look at that. Would you play this before? No. Optional conversation 10 can be found in the chapter Billstown Safe House. Once in the bar with Bill and Eddie, go over to the tables on the left where you will see a chess set, which will be your optional conversation prompt. Optional conversation 11 can be found in the chapter Billstown Graveyard. Follow Bill through the area to where you go through the treehouse and drop into the backyard with the pool and go into the house. Head straight forward going up the stairs at the back of the house then take a right into the kids bedroom. Wait around for Ellie who will eventually come into the room. Now I did go out on the landing then back in the room to ensure that Ellie was actually up the stairs, which she was. Then once Ellie is in the bedroom with you, you will get the prompt for the conversation. Hey, you got a second? Yeah. I... I just want to say I'm sorry. Optional conversation 12 can be found in the chapter up Billstown High School Escape. Once you've escaped from the high school, have gone over the fence using the ladder and are in the house. After the cutscene, Ellie will be in the driver's seat of the truck. Go to the open window of the truck, where after several seconds, you will get the conversation prompt to speak with Ellie. You drive and we push. That's more of my stuff. So what, you just, just gonna steal my shit and run off? Is that it, Frank? You should probably search the house. I'm sure there's more supplies. It's a good idea. Let me know when you're ready to finish this thing. I'll give you a holler. Ready?
You want to be okay with this? Optional Conversation 13 is one that you can earn a trophy in as well, and it's found in the chapter Billstown High School Escape. After you've spoken with Ellie for Optional Conversation 12, turn around and go through the house to the last room and take a left to the desk where you can collect the Note from Frank artifact. Take the artifact back to Bill and activate the conversation prompt where he will read the note and then throw it away. If you go around the car, you will earn the In Memoriam trophy for picking Frank's note up from the floor, but obviously for the purposes of the optional conversation, simply handing a note to Bill will be enough to unlock this one. There I uh... Found Optional conversation 14 can be found in the chapter Pittsburgh Alone and Forsaken. Take out the humans who ambush you at the start of the chapter, then go through the shuttered door into the room with the corpses on the tables. Go over to Ellie before doing anything else in the room to reveal the conversation prompt. See, this could have been us. Optional conversation 15 can again be found in the chapter Pittsburgh Alone and Forsaken. After dropping down to street level, go past the bus then over to the solitary brown car on the right and look at Ellie, where you will see the prompts for the conversation after a short while. Good. Something else you can drive me crazy with. That's fucking awesome. What happened here? Your fellow hunters do this? Cute. Optional conversation 16 can again be found in the chapter of Pittsburgh, Alone and Forsaken. Continue forward through the story to where a group of humans come over the top of a blue bus. Now, I highly recommend letting them pass quietly as if you engage them, they will have some reinforcements that can ruin your day on higher difficulties. So let them pass, but whatever you decide to do, before going over the bus yourselves, go to the tall wall to the left of the bus where Ellie will eventually have the conversation prompt, which is also part of Ellie's jokes. Speaking of Ellie's jokes, every one of her jokes will be an optional conversation that we are going to cover throughout this video. However, if you want to find the standalone guide, if you're looking at getting that trophy done a little bit sooner for whatever reason, you can find a link for that one below the like button. It's called That's All I Got. Okay, we need to lighten the mood. Ready? It doesn't matter how much you push the envelope, It'll still be stationary. What is that? It's a joke book. No pun intended. Optional Conversation 17 can again be found in the chapter Pittsburgh Alone and Forsaken. After jumping over the blue bus the humans came over, you will drop down into a Fedra encampment. Look to your right to see a sign saying, Stop feeding us, give us our rations. Go over to the message where Ellie will join you and have the conversation prompt appear. This place has been abandoned for a while now. Give us our rations. Why wouldn't they give them their food? Sometimes they ran out. Optional Conversation 18 is another one found in the chapter Pittsburgh Alone and Forsaken. Head up through the Kingston bookstore to the first floor and take out all of the humans who are patrolling. There will only be one if you take him down quietly. Then stand next to the flaming barrel burning the wood inside where Ellie will eventually come over and give you the prompt for the conversation. This optional conversation also counts as one of Ellie's jokes. What do you think? Ready? It doesn't matter how much you push the envelope, it'll still be stationary. What is that? It's a joke book. 
No pun intended. Optional conversation 19 is another one found in the chapter Pittsburgh Alone and Forsaken. Continue through the chapter to where you see a cutscene with a couple of humans moving planks about outside the hotel, where once the cutscene is finished, you will be standing to the side of a yellow cab. Turn around from here and go over to your right to a shop called Laron's, which has a poster in the window to the left of the entrance of a lady wearing a pink dress. Allow Ellie to catch up where, once she looks at the picture, your conversation prompt will appear. That girl is so skinny. I thought you had plenty of food in your time. Oh, we did. Just... Optional Conversation 20 is the final one in Chapter Pittsburgh Alone and Forsaken. Once you have listened to Optional Conversation 19, turn around from the poster and walk directly forward to the planter with the bushes and the tree in front of you. Allow Ellie a few moments to walk around and interact with the fire hydrant, where she will eventually come over to you, revealing the conversation prompt. This is another optional conversation that also counts as one of Ellie's jokes. 3.14% of sailors are pirates. Optional Conversation 21 can be found in the chapter Pittsburgh Hotel Lobby. Once the hotel lobby chapter starts, when Joel jumps down through the window, go to your left and behind the counter where you can interact with the coffee machine for your optional conversation. Do you think those hunters are gone? We're about to find out. <laughs> It's clear, Ellie. Come on down. Oh, fancy. Uh, you ever stayed at a place like this? Uh, before? No one went to shit in No. No, this is too rich for my blood. Optional Conversation 22 will have a little bit of work to do before you can unlock it and it's found in the chapter Pittsburgh Hotel Lobby. This optional conversation will only appear once you have opened the safe in the area, which can be done so by going right from the start of the chapter and follow the path around to the reception area where you're going to find a safe. You can open the safe with the code 221056 and ensure that you collect the training manual from inside. Next, continue through the chapter, collecting the ladder and climbing up to the ledge just in front of two golden elevator doors. Wait there for a short while where Ellie will eventually have the conversation prompt appear above her head. And this optional conversation is also one of Ellie's jokes. Good old pun humor. I tried to catch some fog earlier. I missed. Optional Conversation 23 can be found at the Chapter Pittsburgh Hotel Lobby. Proceed through the chapter to where Joel and Ellie are out on the roof terrace, then go through the window to your left. There will be a good number of humans in here, so either take them all down, which I recommend, or sneak past them if you're skilled enough. Go directly forward to the back room of the mattress against the back wall, take a left, right, then left again through an open window. Jump on the bed, then mantle up to the floor above using the wardrobe, then go through the door in front of you, taking in an immediate left and look to the corpses in the bathtub, where once Ellie has caught you up, will be the conversation location with Ellie. Ensure that you look at Ellie the whole time as the prompt is only available for about one or two seconds. Oh, creepy. Guess they took the easy way out, huh? Well, it ain't easy. Optional Conversation 24 is another one that you can find in the chapter Pittsburgh Hotel Lobby. 
Once you've dropped down to the lower level where you will have an ornate staircase to your right, go straight to the end of the corridor then through the door on your right to come to a grand looking dining room. Once inside the dining room, go right along the right wall to a painting which reads Paradise, then wait for Ellie who will have the conversation prompt once she catches you up. Now Ellie will have three conversation prompts back to back here. You will need to initiate and listen to all three, although they will only count as one optional conversation entry. That's a, uh, a backdrop. People would take their... Optional Conversation 25 can be found in the chapter Pittsburgh Financial District. From the start of the chapter, Ellie will have a sniper rifle and be on overwatch protecting you as best as she can. You need to make your way through the area, killing every human in the location, which will be made easier if you take out as many as you can quietly, then go loud to flush out any stragglers. Once everyone is dead, there will be a short cutscene between Ellie and Joel where you can then look right to see the Rivers Cafe. If you look opposite the cafe, you will see a body hanging from a tree. Go over to the body, then when Ellie joins you, look to the body to get the conversation prompt. Now, now the safety's on. Uh, do, do you know how to switch it off? I do. Okay, you just... You gotta respect it. This is not... Joel, I'll be careful. Okay. Whoa, Nelly. Harsh punishment. Optional Conversation 26 is another one found in the chapter Pittsburgh Financial District. After boosting Ellie up to the red ladder, walk around the red walkway, then drop down to the truck, and then finally down to ground level. Now, you would usually go left to continue the game. However, to get the optional conversation prompt, you need to go forward, look into the military preparatory school's gates, where Ellie will have the conversation prompt appear once she catches you up. I stayed at a place like this, back in the Boston QZ. Military preparatory school. Optional Conversation 27 is another one found in the chapter Pittsburgh Financial District. Once you have Optional Conversation 26, turn around then go around the ramp to the right where you will see a Dawn of the Wolf poster. Head over to the poster where Ellie should stand in front of you revealing the conversation prompt. Posters are everywhere. I saw this right before the outbreak. You did? Now the next few optional conversations will all take part in the chapter The Suburbs Suburbs. And in order to get optional conversation 30, you will have to meet four specific requirements in order to make optional conversation 30, which is also one of Ellie's jokes, appear. All of these steps must be done in order. Now for the first step, you need to initiate optional conversation 28, which is found by going from the start of the chapter, take the first right turn on the street where you will see a large white detached house with writing on the wall. Wait for Henry to catch you up where he will have the conversation prompt after a few seconds. On site. Lots of friendly people lived here. First few months after the outbreak, they had a lot of looting. Everyone got paranoid. You remember any of that, Joel? Yeah, everyone barricaded themselves in their homes and supplies started running low. That's when you saw what people are really capable of. Now the second part of getting optional conversation 30 to appear involves you going into the house opposite where you had optional conversation 28 with Henry through the blown out section of wall into the kitchen where Henry will have some more talking to do. I was just five when the cordyceps hit. My memory's pretty hazy, but I remember living in a neighborhood just like this. What do you remember? Uh, barbecues. Parents, they would throw these crazy big barbecues and invite a ton of people. You know, I remember the smell more than anything. Weird. Once Henry's done talking in the kitchen, we can then make our way down to optional conversation number 29, where you can continue down the street where you will see an abandoned ice cream truck over to the right outside of a red house. Go to the ice cream truck where Ellie will join you and you can initiate the optional conversation with her. And this conversation will be the third requirement for initiating optional conversation 30.
What is this? Oh, this is an ice cream truck. An ice cream truck? Yeah, Henry told me about these. They sell ice cream out of the truck. What? No way, Joel. That's true. This thing would drive around and play real loud, creepy music, and kids would come running out to buy ice cream. You're totally fucking with me. Mm-mm, -mm, serious. <laughs> Man, you lived in a strange time. <laughs> Told you so. Now, before you can initiate optional conversation 30, before heading down the road as I am in the video, make sure that you've got optional conversation 28, have gone in the kitchen to allow Henry to talk to you, and then done optional conversation 29. Once you're happy that you've done it all, head down the street, then look to your left at the end of the street where you're gonna find a firefly symbol on a small wall. Henry will initiate a short conversation with you. Which once completed, you can turn around and see Ellie walking around in the grass. Now it will take anywhere between two and five minutes for Ellie to get her joke book out, where she's then gonna reel you off a few jokes, making optional conversation 30 complete. If for whatever reason you've already waited five or more minutes, just simply restart the chapter and you're gonna to have to redo the first three steps again, where hopefully the game will realize what you're trying to do, Ellie will get her joke book out, and obviously this conversation will count. You want to hear a joke about pizza? Never mind, it was too cheesy. I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. If a dish towel could tell a joke... Optional conversation 31 can again be found in the chapter The Suburbs Suburbs. Go into the White House at the end of the street, then head up the stairs in the hallway at the top level into the attic. Now, you don't need to collect anything on the way up. There are a fair few collectibles as you make your way up and down the house. All you need to do is simply walk into the attic, then head back downstairs to the ground floor, then take a left into the sitting room where Ellie and Sam will be having a short game of darts. Once they're done and have walked off, go to the stall with the books on top of it and interact with the dart, which will trigger your optional conversation. Hey, Sam, be careful. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll go for Yeah, okay. There'll come a day where kids can just be kids again. Optional Conversation 32 can be found in the chapter Tommy's Dam Hydroelectric Dam. After jumping into the water and ferrying Ellie across on the pallet, cross the walkway, then rather than heading up to the stairs over to your right, drop down to the left. Ellie will hold her hand up once Joel is across. If you choose not to high five her, you will earn the left hanging trophy. Then once you have dropped down to the left, vault over the moss covered tree to find a child's grave with a yellow teddy bear on top of it. Interact with the teddy bear to initiate the optional conversation. Optional Conversation 33 can be found in the chapter Tommy's Dam Hydroelectric Dam. Once Joel and Tommy are reunited and have gained access into the compound, go straight forward to the back wall of the area to find a horse. Wait for Ellie to stroke the horse, which will cause the conversation prompt to appear. One of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joel. I had. We'll get her running again. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Can I? Yeah, of course. He likes when you pet his ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. When have you ridden a horse? Uh, Winston, this... Optional Conversation 34 is another one that can be found in the chapter Tommy's Dam, Hydroelectric Dam. Inside the sleeping area, which you come to after entering the building, Tommy will go over to some bags in between two bunk beds. Go over and stand next to him, where the conversation prompt will appear after a short while. This conversation is mandatory, although it does count as an optional conversation for the purposes of this trophy. Maria, 
Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it this out? This will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. We've been here just a week, and it feels like forever. Uh, I got something for you. Last year, I went back to Texas, back home. Most of our stuff is long gone. Most of it. Optional conversation number 35 is the final one that can be found in the chapter Tommy's Dam Hydroelectric Dam. Continue through the chapter to where Joel and Tommy are back outside and crossing the platforms over the water, then look over to the right to see a lady standing on her own. Go over to her and wait for a few seconds for the conversation prompt to appear. I thought no one could live like this anymore. We're doing it. Give it up. You ain't saving that turbo. Oh, I'll get it. Been at it for too long to give up now. You're new around here. Yeah, Joel and Tommy's brother. Optional conversation 36 can be found in the chapter The University Go Bighorns. From the start of the chapter, go into the university grounds, then continue forward until you pass a white truck, then jump over the small grey barrier. Look up to the building on your left to find a large bull which will have the conversation prompt appear on it. Like some idol Optional Conversation 37 is another one that can be found in the chapter The University Go Big Horns. Once you have used the first generator and opened the metal gates, get back on Callus, which is your horse, with Ellie, then go through the large open courtyard. Go over to the top left and through the small tunnel as you usually would do to continue the game, then take a right. If you look over to the left wall, you will see a firefly symbol, which once looked at will have the conversation prompt appear as long as you're going slow enough on Callus. Should we have seen someone by now? Maybe these guys like to keep a low profile. Yeah, maybe. I see it. This is good. First sign of fireflies. Optional conversation 38 can be found in the chapter The University Science Building. Proceed through the chapter to where you would go up the stairs to the upper floors. Just before doing so, you will see a series of plastic crates and file boxes on the floor in front of the stairs. On one of the plastic crates will be a clipboard you will need to interact with in order to have the optional conversation. Optional conversation number 39 can be found in the chapter Lakeside Resort, The Hunt. Once you cross the wooden bridge with David, go right and up the stairs where you can interact with the corpse on the floor in front of the table to initiate your optional conversation. Come on. Through here. Like Optional conversation 40 can be found in the chapter Bus Depot Highway Exit. Head forward to the green car from the start of the chapter just before you get to the ambulance where Ellie will have the conversation prompt appear above her head. Be quick for this one as she only stays there for two to three seconds. Yeah, I reckon you'd really like that. What do you say, huh? Ellie, I'm talking to you. Huh? Oh. Optional conversation 41 can be found in the chapter Bus Depot Highway Exit and this particular optional conversation is very buggy and for the most part won't trigger. It took me 9 attempts to make it happen. What I recommend that you do is to get optional conversation 40 done, then restart the chapter simply by pausing and then selecting restart checkpoint. From here go straight forward then into the RV where you will find on the work surface to your right the family photograph artifact. Pick up the artifact, then go back outside and look over to the left, where Ellie will hopefully be in front of the left side of the bus, looking at a poster of a plane. If she has walked off past a yellow cab, then try again as many times as required, where eventually the game will realise what you're trying to do, and keep Ellie next to the bus, giving you your optional conversation prompt. Like I say, very, very buggy this one.
I dreamt about flying the other night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Go on, tell me about it. So, I'm on this big plane full of people. Optional conversation number 42 is another one that can be found in the chapter Bus Depot Highway Exit. Continue through the chapter to the Logan James Bus Station, then go down the stairs to the lower level. Wait for Ellie to catch you up, where she will then sit on a red tiled bench, allowing you to initiate the conversation with her. Optional Conversation 43 is another one found in the chapter Bus Depot Highway Exit. Make your way through the corridors following a very excitable Ellie to where you will see a giraffe eating leaves growing up the edge of the building. Interact with the giraffe to initiate the optional conversation. You see this? Shh, don't scare it. I won't, I won't. What are you doing? It's all right. Come here. Optional Conversation 44 is another one that can be found in the chapter Bus Depot Highway Exit. Head up to the roof of the building where Ellie is watching the giraffes. Go over to her where you will be able to initiate the optional conversation. And optional conversation number 45 is the final one that you can find in the main game as well as the chapter Bus Depot Highway Exit. Proceed through the Fedra encampment to the bus you will need to go through, which is story related. You're going to get an L3 look at message appear in the bottom left of the screen. Ensure that you press L3, which will enable Ellie to tell you to wait, then turn around and initiate the optional conversation with her, where you get a nice kick in the feelings with a photo of Joel and Sarah. Hey Joel, I got something for you. Here. Maria showed this to me. Right now, as I touched on briefly at the start of the video, in the left behind DLC, which is accessible at any point from the main menu, there's a lot of confusion currently for the optional conversations. There are, as per the in-game counter, 45 optional conversations in the main game. Now, the trophy counter on PlayStation 5 lists that there are 54 optional conversations required for the trophy. However, there are 15 optional conversations in the left behind DLC. 12 in the chapter More Rats, More Rats, and then three in the chapter Fun and Games, Fun and Games, making 60 in total, meaning nine are required, leaving six additional conversations. Now, again, like I said at the start of the video, complete transparency here, I'll be completely honest with you, I'm not 100% sure out of the 15 which nine are required, so we're gonna list all 15 optional conversations for the rest of the video, get them all to avoid any potential issues in unlocking your trophy. Now for optional conversations 46 to 57 or one to 12 in the DLC can all be found in the chapter More Rats, More Rats. Follow Riley up through the room going through the open kitchen into a bedroom where you will see a firefly symbol on the wall with the message, look for the light above it. The firefly symbol will have the prompt for the optional conversation on it. We're making good time. Who you hang out with these days? I don't know. No one really. What about Tino and the rest of the guys? How are they doing? Riley, those are your friends. But you <gasps> talk to them. Yeah, I guess. Have you found the light yet? Optional conversation 47 or number 2 in the DLC is found by going across the rooftops then once you're back inside go down the escalator and double back on yourself and around to the right. On the wall now to your left will be a poster offering affordable getaways to Hawaii. Look at the poster to get the optional conversation prompt. What are we doing here Riley? I have a surprise for you. What? Is it a dinosaur? Maybe. I'll be your friend again if it's a dinosaur. You'll just have to wait and see. Did 
You still saving up for that vacation? Every penny. Optional conversation 48 or number three in the DLC is found by going back to the bottom of the escalator, then going straight forward to find a small poster advertising Typhoon Blitz water pistols. Look at the poster to reveal the conversation prompt. Optional conversation 49 or number four in the DLC is found by proceeding through the chapter down another escalator where you will see a large green tent set up in the middle of the area. Just left of the tent, Riley will stand still for a few seconds. Ensure you initiate the conversation with her before she moves on. Um, you heard? Yeah. Do you know how it happened? They said he just fell off his horse. Heart attack or something. Optional conversation 50 or number 5 in the DLC is found by following Riley into the green tent then go to the back wall where you can interact with the magazines there which initiates the optional conversation. It doesn't matter if you accept or reject the drink, I've done both on separate accounts with no discrepancies in the trophy counter. Man, guy used to be handsome. Bingo. Want some? Optional conversation 51 or number 6 in the DLC is found by coming out of the green tent and walking straight across to find a horse saddle slung over the back of a bench which you can interact with for the optional conversation. What happened to Princess? Optional conversation 52 or number 7 in the DLC can be found by continuing through the chapter to the Halloween store, interacting with the wolf mask, then follow Riley to the back of the store and take a right where you can interact with a jar of eyeballs on a shelf which will initiate your optional conversation. Optional conversation 53 or number 8 in the DLC is found by turning around from the jar of eyeballs then go forward past Frankenstein Riley, taking a left and heading halfway down the aisle looking to your right to find a witch mask you can interact with to initiate your optional conversation. <laughs> Optional conversation 54 or number 9 in the DLC is found by going back up the aisle the way you came after donning the witch's mask and go over to the left corner behind the vehicle where Riley will, after a short while, put on Dracula's mask. Interact with the mask whilst Riley is wearing it to activate the optional conversation. What? Vampires are like my thing. I am Count. Dracula! We're actually Countess. Optional conversation 55 or number 10 in the DLC is found by going left from Dracula Riley, walking a short way down the aisle looking left to find a bird head mask. Interact with the mask to activate your optional conversation. Mm -hmm. Optional conversation 56 or number 11 in the DLC is found by from the bird mask location going to the end of the aisle and looking right to find a Skelesir display. You will need to interact with the skull eight times in a row to complete the optional conversation entry. You will know when you're done when Riley says you can have poker. Nothing. Huh. You gotta turn it over, genius. Oh. Seems dreadfully unlikely. Ah, Whew, what a relief. Am I ever gonna get to play a video game? Your chances are dismal. Fuck you, Skull. Will I drive a car again? Feel it in my bones. All right. <laughs> Are we ever leaving this stupid quarantine zone? The answer is in limbo. So there's a chance. Will we ever get our water guns back? The spirit nods yes. Ah, you hear that? Says we're getting our water guns back. Let them go, Ellie. Let them go. 
Will Riley ever stop sucking at poker? I can hear you, you know. The signs aren't clear. Up. Oh, there's still hope for you. No, nope. I've given up on that. You can have poker. Am I ever getting boobs or what? The spirits are quiet. Ugh, of course they are. Are you a butt face? I am dead certain it is true. Well, that settles it then. Optional Conversation 57 or number 12 in the DLC is the last one found in the chapter More Rats, More Rats. You need to head through the double doors once you're done in the Halloween shop where Riley will challenge you to a brick throwing contest. You need to win the contest in order to get the Optional Conversation prompt which is simply a case of being fairly quick in collecting any of the bricks scattered around the area and then throwing them at the red car to smash the seven windows which are the windscreen, rear window, driver's door, rear near side, rear offside, and front passenger windows, as well as the sunroof, which can be done in any order. Now succeeding in this will earn you the Brick Master Trophy, which we've done in another video, as well as being able to initiate the optional conversation with Riley by choosing one of three questions. The question you choose is irrelevant, just ensure that you choose one. Now I'm not sure if the last option, which is forget it, will count as an entry for the optional conversation, so better to be safe than sorry and choose any of the top three questions to ask. tougher windows. Yeah, whatever, loser. All right, question time. I'm scared. So, what does Marlene say? Optional conversation 58 or number 13 in the DLC can be found in the chapter Fun and Games, Fun and Games. From the start of the chapter, head straight forward to the carousel and interact with the horse, which will be the prompt for the optional conversation. How do you know? This firefly, Melanie, told me all about it. This looks fancy. Wanna try it? Okay. Yeah! You ready for this? <laughs> what are we doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Riley, come here. <laughs> now you got this, go. <laughs> what the heck? This is awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Optional Conversation 59 or number 14 in the DLC is found in the chapter Fun and Games, Fun and Games. Whilst on the carousel, Riley will hand you a joke book. Then once off the carousel, you can press triangle to tell a joke, which you will need to do 21 times in order for it to count as having done the entire optional conversation. If you quit, you will need to restart it all. So ensure that you run through all 21 where the final joke will be diarrhea related and you'll no longer be able to press triangle. The optional conversation also counts as one of Ellie's jokes. And if you follow the guide properly and you've done every other one of Ellie's jokes your trophy will unlock all right you ready all right i heard two peanuts walked into a park one was assaulted oh, <laughs> oh good one. Good, good one a boiled egg in the morning is really hard to beat <laughs> <laughs> that's funny that is funny i like that one I'm reading a book on anti-gravity, and it's impossible to put down. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes, that one's awesome. It's not that the guy didn't know how to juggle. He just didn't have the balls to do it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad I know sign language. It's become quite handy. <laughs> That's silly. That's really silly. I forgot how to throw a boomerang, but it came back to me. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> When a clock is hungry, it goes back four seconds. Oh, 
Uh, yeah. Get it? Yeah. It goes back for seconds. For seconds. Yeah. I once heard a joke about amnesia, but I forget how it goes. <laughs> Good one. When the power went out at the school, the children were delighted. Mm, okay. <laughs> Those fish were shy. They were obviously coy. Oh, that's cute. That was cute. That was cute. Those two men drinking battery acid will soon be charged. Ooh, that's ugh, dark. It's kind of, kind of dark. What is the pirate's favorite letter? Oh, I know this one. <laughs> nah, tis the sea. <laughs> oh, tis the sea, because the water, the ocean. That's the best one so far. <laughs> yes, awesome. I'm inclined to be laid back. That's true. I actually feel like that's, that's true. it. That's the whole joke. That's 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 whole joke. He's reclining. Inclined. Meh. Newspaper headline reads: Cartoonist found dead at home. Details are sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's cute. Oh man, I love this book. The magician got frustrated and pulled his hair out. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, like a rabbit. Yeah. Lame. The frustrated cannibal threw up his hands. Oh! oh right. I get it! Because he ate his hands, so and then gross. he threw them up! That's so gross! A criminal's best asset is his lie ability. Oh, brother. Wow, no. Boo. I didn't have the faintest idea as to why I passed out. <laughs> uh, I heard about the guy got hit in the head with a can of soda. He's lucky it was a soft drink. <laughs> Silly. Yeah. There was once a cross-eyed teacher who had issues controlling his pupils. Oh, oh that's, that's mean. Yeah. Diarrhea is hereditary. It runs in your genes. Oh, oh that's, so that's gross. gross. But awesome. All right, I'm putting this away. Hey, thanks for getting me this. You're welcome. Now, optional conversation 60, which is your final optional conversation, thankfully, and the 15th one in the DLC is, of course, found in the chapter Fun and Games, Fun and Games. From where you tell Riley your 21 jokes, head forward down the stairs to the Share Snap photo booth, interact with the photo booth, then run through the button prompts, having a laugh to complete the optional conversation entry. So once you've listened to all 54 optional conversations, obviously I know we've listed off 60, I have explained it a couple of times in the video, but just in case you jump to the end, there are 15 in the Left Behind DLC where there should only be nine, leaving six left over. So we've covered all 60, just to obviously make sure that there are no issues in you unlocking your trophy. But that's the way games go sometimes. Sometimes you've got to do a little bit extra than what's required. Sometimes you get to do a little bit less. Either way, once you've listened to the 54 required optional conversations, your trophy will then unlock. So that's how to do the getting to know you trophy for the last of us part one. I do sincerely hope that this guide's helped you out as it's taken us a good couple of hundred hours getting a bloody thing all put together. If the guide has helped you out, please do me a massive favour and give the like button a click. That would be a really big help. It'll make me feel a lot better for spending hundreds of hours trying to figure this poxy thing out. And if the guide's really helped you out, then consider subscribing and then press the notification bell afterwards so that way you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. But either way, whatever you decide to do, thank you very much for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. You're awesome. Please take care of yourselves out there. And we do look forward to seeing you back here at Griffin's Gaming Guides. We look stupid. Stupidly awesome. What's a Facebook? Maybe it prints our faces in a book? Oh, we can just print our pictures. Oh, give us some pictures. Oh my God, I can't believe it's actually going to work. <laughs> I know. Hit me try. <sighs> okay. What? Oh, come on. Fuck you. Maybe if you put it up here. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> what just happened? I think we broke it. <laughs> I think we did too. <laughs> You want to keep exploring? Hell yeah. Attention. The 6 a.m. shift starts in 10... 
Can you see our logo in the middle of the screen? Giving it a click enables you to subscribe, which helps us help you get more guides.